All right, so here is the programming for the LEGO EV3 tutorial challenge number one. Um, in that video, there were four challenges that I presented and shared that we use in our robot camps for beginners and also in our classes um, and also with our robot teams for those getting started. The first one, um, if you remember, you can go back and watch the video is just to go travel 36 inches from a piece of tape to the other piece of tape and stopping. And so after watching how to do that, you can see how simple the program is. It's simply just one move steering block, and I have it programmed for 5.2 rotations based on the mathematical thing that we figured out, um, and that's it. That one's really simple, uh, but just in case you're really struggling, there it is. The next challenge, challenge number two, was to get the robot to go to the tape and then move backwards back to the start. And so you can see here that we have the move steering just like we did it in the first one. Nothing, that's all the same. And now we're just adding one more, the exact same. The only setting we're changing now is the speed or the power. And we made that a negative so that it goes backwards and it should come right back to the start. The third video, or third challenge, excuse me, was to take the robot and have it get to the tape like we've been doing and once it gets to that tape having it turn 180 degrees and come back to start and so now as opposed to going backwards it's turning itself around to come back um, you can see here this is what we've done and so I'm going to the tape the same block that we've done the first two previous challenges now we're adding a turn um, and so they're gonna have to kind of figure that out a little bit and then come back and the difference here that we're looking for is make sure that they don't go negative power to understand that you're going forward um, again. The last one is just simply having your robot spin 360 degrees uh, in one spot without moving. So I like to start on a piece of tape and say that the wheel, one wheel has to end on the piece of tape in a 360 degree spin. This number here is what you're going to have to adjust. What most kids will do is, a lot of kids will think that if they type in 360 degrees as in a circle, that that'll cause the robot to spin. This is to help them understand that the rotation is of the tire, not of the actual robot body's turn. And so that's important for them. So depending on your surface and depending on the robot that they've built, usually we have found anywhere from 730 to 800 is right around the range in which they have to use for the amount of degrees to turn in a full circle. You may want to start with this as your third challenge and then move into the 180 turn where then if they can figure out how to go in a full circle, like 735, then you could go here and see if they can apply it where they're really they're just dividing it in two and making some subtle adjustments that way. That's completely up to you. But those are the four basic challenges that we have every kid go through to make sure they understand how the motors work and just some basic programming. Hope you found that useful. Coming up next is going to be some videos on the sensors and how to use those. Thank you, and uh, we look forward to your feedback, comments, and ideas.